I gotta back out. Oh, the gun. Oh, the spider. It's coming over here for me. Back right there. He's pushing the plant side. Oh, it's two on him. oh, of course, both sides, bro. Come on. Oh, He's going to rest his teammate. By the smoke area. Yep. Well, if that nade would have gotten them, that would have been hilarious. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some Lancer gameplay and today we're going to be talking about the gadget cooldown system that will be coming in a future update for Rogue Company. So let's head over and check it out. So guys, we finally got our first this week in Rogue Company and how long? Let's see exactly how long it has been since we got the last this week in Rogue Company. So the last This Week in Rogue Company that came out was March the 31st. We're in July, people. It's been a very long time since we've got one, and we finally got one. And there's something that is very, very interesting that they conveyed in this. So let's head over and check it out, and then we will talk about it. About. In this episode, we are going to be addressing a, our solution to a long-standing community concern of gadget spam. The solution that we are pursuing is a gadget cooldown system with the goal of reducing the amount of throwable gadgets that you see in a match overall. Let's check it out. The gadget cooldown system is exactly what it sounds like. When gadgets are thrown, they will now go on cooldown instead of being used for good. The trade-off here is that when you respawn, you are not automatically given a new set of your purchased gadgets. When you respawn now, your cooldowns will just continue ticking on from where they left off when you died. We chose this solution to the gadget spam problem because it gives us a high degree of control over the issue. We can now control each individual gadget's cooldown behavior, giving us more freedom to finesse the changes instead of needing to make a blanket change on gadgets as a whole. Additionally, many utility gadgets that gain a second charge on their final upgrade, something like flashbangs or smoke grenades, no longer get the second charge, but instead have a 10% reduced cooldown reduction upgrade in the final slot. We've also made a couple of perk changes to complement this new system. We have added a brand new perk called Gadgeteer. This perk reduces your gadget cooldowns by 5, 10, and 15% for the rare, epic, and legendary. So they are basically getting rid of the way that gadgets fundamentally work in Rogue Company as of right now. As of posting this video, as of recording this video, the way that gadgets work in respawn modes and in demolition are in respawn modes, whenever you die, whenever you come back to life, whenever you respawn, then you have access to all of your gadgets. Whether it's lethal, non-lethal, doesn't matter. Whether you have one, two, it doesn't matter. You have access to everything. In demolition, whenever you drop into a match, you have access to all of your all of your gadgets right out of the gate. And then whenever the match ends, you go back to the plane, you upgrade everything. Whenever you fall back in, you have your gadgets once more. What they're gonna be doing is basically putting all of the gadgets on a cooldown, whether it be the uh, non-lethal gadgets or the lethal gadgets. Now I think that this is a really interesting idea, and I think it's going to be most successful in the respawn game modes, just like Pretty Hair said, this is a way to combat some of the utility spam that happens in the respawn modes, especially since uh, Strikeout has went on to be one of the ranked playlists. Now, how will this impact demolition? As a demolition player, the way that I think that this is going to impact demolition is you're going to drop into the match, right? An average demolition round lasts, what, two, two and a half minutes, something like that. I don't know exactly how long it lasts, but just let's, let's just say, for example, that it lasts two minutes, right? Or two and a half minutes, whatever. Uh, normally you don't start using your utility right out of the gate. Now, if you're using sticky sensors, you may throw a sticky sensor as soon as you land to see if you can predict or catch someone trying to flank you. But as far as anything else is concerned, such as flashbangs, tear gas, uh, Simtex, bounce grenades, C4, any of that stuff, you are well within the round whenever you actually start using that stuff. So... 
in reality, if the cool down is, is good enough, if the cool down is long enough, then technically it should not really impact demolition all that much, except for the non-lethal gadgets that you actually have access to, that you have two of them. Like flashbangs, instead of coming right out of the plane with two flashbangs, you are actually going to have somewhere in the ballpark of one flashbang with the possibility of getting another flashbang before that match is currently over. Now, I don't mind this change, and I think we need more information. It's just, it's per usual Rogue Company, right? Now, I think that there's a huge way that they could break the game by doing this when it comes to demolition specifically. I think that if the cooldown timer isn't long enough, then it's going to make the gadget spam significantly worse than it currently is. Currently in game, people don't drop lethals or non-lethal gadgets whenever they die. Uh, the only way that you can get additionals is if you have a runway on your team. Um, most of the gadgets don't down someone in one hit. Most people have access, their toughness is either high enough or they have access to tenacity or they have access to armor, which makes it to where they take a very significant amount of damage. Maybe they'll do 94 damage, maybe it'll do 98 damage, but it won't outright down the majority of the rogues that you're actually playing against. So I think that right now the utility feels okay. It probably feels terrible in respawn game modes, and that might be where all this stuff is coming from. So inherently, this change is actually going to be doing a lot of different things in the game as well. You're, you're going to be making Runway a very, very important character when it comes to gadget or utility use. Uh, she is going to be someone that, and of course, we don't know how this is going to work, but... You have to assume that with her ability, that whenever you drop in, you have one Simtex, one Flashbang. You hit the briefcase, you get an additional Simtex and an additional Flashbang, and that's what you have to roll until that stuff goes on cooldown. In my mind, if you hit the runway briefcase, then your gadgets don't go on cooldown or they shouldn't go on cooldown whenever you're playing demolition. If you're going to hit that case, if you're going to get two, you know, two lethals and two uh, non-lethal gadgets right out of the gate, then it shouldn't put any of them on cooldown. Once you extinguish all of those charges, then it should be completely gone, and that should be the end of it, in my perspective. It also is going to add a ton more value to Trench in the long run, because Trench is the only rogue right now. His passive allows him to have two gadgets right out of the gate. So, And trophy systems are going to become very important, I feel, or the APS systems. I think that those are going to be absolutely like important to being able to hold a position or push a position because if someone has gadgets if they have the non-lethal gadgets leveled up to where they actually get that cooldown reduction and then they have access to the new perk on top of that that's going to make it a very frustrating fight whenever you get towards the end of the match just imagine if you're in a 1v1 type situation um, you're playing with chalk let's say that you have access to the uh, perk that allows it to go on cooldown let's say that you've upgraded it all the way and you're trying to basically drive the person out or take that person down so that you can defuse the bomb if you know what that cooldown is if you know that you can wait it out if you have enough time to do that you can absolutely do that and be very successful at it uh, that's why I feel like APS systems are going to become very important in this because until we learn what the actual cooldowns are until we know going into it if these rogues have the um Flashbangs upgraded, for example, or if they have access to that perk, or if they have that perk purchased, then it's going to make it for very frustrating, for, for a very possible frustrating situation, and it's better to be safe than sorry, in my opinion, there. So we're getting some silent buffs to some of the characters in the form of Runway and Trench. We're also getting some nerfs, of course, to some of the characters. Anybody with flashbangs, anybody with tear gas, anybody with EMPs, they're all getting a very substantial nerf. I don't know if the cooldown timer will be different for non-lethals or lethals. I don't know if at first it'll be a blanket cooldown all across the board. They don't give us enough information. But at the end of the day, I feel like that this is going to be a very interesting change, to say the least. I don't know if it's going to be good. I don't know if it's going to be bad. We don't have enough information to actually know that right now. But I think that if the developers take the time and actually put in the work that is required like always, then I think they can't go wrong. But I think that they can do one of two things in completely extreme opposites of one another that could be very detrimental to the game. They could increase the grenade spam or the gadget spam in demolition, and that would hurt the game in a massive way. Or they could completely make gadgets useless all, all the way around. 
they may make it to where it doesn't feel right and then and then also on top of that if they're having these cooldowns and these extended cooldowns for a lot of these gadgets and things then they can actually go in and tweak some of the gadgets on the back end just a little bit to possibly make them more effective since fundamentally you're not going to be coming back with them in respawn game modes and you're also not going to be at risk of getting them back in demolition they may go in and up some of the damage or the explosive explosion radius of some of the grenades or something like that to kind of counteract this as far as like respawn game modes are concerned so i think that this is very interesting i think as always we don't have enough information to accurately say whether it's going to be a good thing for the game or a bad thing for the game but at the end of the day it's a very interesting thing for the game i'm going to try to jump into pts i'm going to i'm going to try to time some of these things out and then give an accurate idea of what i think is right for the game and what i think is going to go be good going forward but be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below i know a lot of people on twitter a lot of people on reddit think that this is an absolutely terrible idea and i think that on paper if you're looking at it at face value then yes it is absolutely a terrible idea but i think and i'm going to give the developers the benefit of the doubt here i think that if they do it correctly then it could be something that is good for all game modes all across the board be sure to let me know what you think though in the comments down down below also be sure to check that description for links to facebook discord and twitter those are the places to contact me and if you haven't already please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you've already subscribed to the channel then consider hitting that join button down below to become one of the 256 crew members and then lastly on thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m and sundays from 10 a.m central time i will be streaming here on youtube so if you're interested and available please feel free to stop by and say hello there thanks for watching guys He had that minigun out, dude, and then he, he was so far away that he put it up. Oh, really? Run. Yeah.